Hello all, Tekkenzor here. Welcome to another Toon Boom Harmony tutorial. Today we're going to be going through the Paint Bucket tool. So it's really cool in this tool because it finds, I find it that it's really cool because it has a whole bunch of options here than the regular conventional fill in something that's not closed or something. So while we're going to this, we have to go through how to create colors again, just a little bit. So over here I have some colors, you know, I made one stone and I have a regular one. So we come here, I'm going to make another one. So click my plus, double click a little box there. I can rename it um, rock or something. And you just go to, I use multi wheel mode, so it's easier for me. Find some nice rocky color, and I'm gonna make a gradient. So I click gradient, and I choose the other color. So I got these two colors to work with, right? And I choose radial. So it looks like this, all right? So I wanna edit that one a little bit, so it's a bit lighter, nice and gray, and I'm done. So that's my rock color. Now I'm going to use my bucket tool and fill them in. I could either do this, clicking them single one at a time, or I could choose paint unpainted, just circle the ones that are unpainted, and it will just fill in. It won't interrupt with the colors that I already have. So that comes in handy. You'll notice that these two weren't filled in. Why? Because they're not closed. And of course, every time you're painting something, you have to make sure that your stuff is closed. Nothing's going to happen here. So this thing comes with nice cool tools like close, gap, or stroke, which means you draw some invisible lines to fill in where you want. So I choose stroke here. I'm just going to draw this. you notice this message come up. That you added a stroke, but it's invisible. So yeah. Press OK, you won't see it there. I'll draw one here too. Right? So I have that. If you want to show them, you press K. And you'll see those two little lines there. Looking all liney and whatever. So I go back to my paint tool and I paint them in. Just to reiterate, if you want to zoom in, you press 2. If you want to zoom out, press 1. But to move your screen around, you press the space bar and the hand tool comes up. Mm. Yeah. Alright, so we have some others where you have repaint. Just like how we did with the brush tool, where it had the same kind of options. You have repaint and unpaint and all these things. This bucket tool comes with the same stuff. So I can say repaint and it will repaint that which I already have. So I choose black here. Right. I could even unpaint something. So anything that's painted, I could just go this. It's kind of like deleting something. You'll see my strokes are still there. I want to unpaint these. Oh no, it's still there. So that's where I have to go about my way to select it and delete it, right? So to choose the paint colors, you, you have to go over here in your color tab and you choose your colors. You choose black, white, red, green, blue, and you have a whole bunch of others depending on which of the templates you use. I'll choose vectorized line to draw. So I'm just going to draw something simple like a simple little pebble. Right? I could probably put some little lines here, there, or I could just stick with the rock color. I'll choose stone. So I'm going to choose to repaint. And you notice that in here doesn't paint because it has no color. But I can paint the, the line. Unpaint, paint, unpaint. Close gap and stroke kind of work the same. Only that close gap draws lines too. It draws straight lines. So I'm just going to paint this in. Simple. Choose my stone color. Paint it in. And I'm going to use my gradient. My edit gradient tool. And just, you know, kind of 
change up a few stuff just a little bit. Those summer stone looks all almost realish. Let's go to something like that. Nice and clean looking stone. So let's check out the tool. Oh, sorry for that. <laughs> Bring that up. So you have these same tools here. You can do the same marquee or lasso. You can choose the options even over here. You can choose to fill in gap, small gap, medium gap, large gap, which kind of tries to fill in your gaps for you. And good morning. And well, what is now? Mm, paint and remove texture. Cool. So that's it for the paint tool. Really simple, really cool. Enjoy. Take care. God bless. And you know, Excess is a really cool read. Take care.